everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show and I'm here with part two of my empties video. I am back. I was on the road for a week, although the lovely Denise made sure that she put videos up when I was gone, so it was, it was just like I, I didn't leave. However, I'm feeling pretty burned out. Um, but I knew that I had to finish this empties because it's a big bag and I um, didn't want to do it all in one video, so I'm going to get it done now. Uh, two things. One, we're getting very close to Vlogmas when I will be sending out my um, daily vlogs for December, which is going to be fantastic. Those of you who have been asking to see Denise on camera, she has agreed to do a version of the Mr. and Mrs. tag, except we're going to do it as a Mrs. and Mrs. tag. And so she's agreed to do that. So we will do that sometime. That'll be one of the daily vlogs during December. So look forward to that. Okay, let's just get right into the empties. I've got a bunch of candles to show you that I've finished. First one up was this green candle, and this is Pumpkin Hayride. And it smelled just like that, sort of a combination of pumpkin and hay. It really got us into that fall feeling. This is an all-time favorite candle. This one is Fresh Bamboo. And I love the wall flowers that smell like this and also really love the candle. It really smells super fresh. It sort of gives the, the place a bit of a spa smell. Another candle, this was sort of at the end of the summer. This was Bahama Fizz. It was all right, but once again, I'm, I have that feeling with these light, light pink colored candles that after a few burns, they start to smell a little bit like cigarettes. I've got a few hand soaps to show. This is the Pure and Simple, no it's not, yeah. Pure and Basic, there's Momo behind the camera correcting me. Pure and Basic Bath and Body Fuji Apple Berry. Uh, again, you've seen these a million times. I use these as hand soap. Love them, continue to buy them. Another Bath and Body Works hand soap, Tuscan Vineyard uh, collection. This one is, uh, a, uh, sorry, Tuscan Vineyard from the Italian collection. Loved it, sort of smells like verified wine, which, uh, you know, who can complain when their hands smell like wine? The Summerberry Vanillas you saw in the first half of the video I showed you that I used up the lotion. This was the Shower Gel. Very, very nice. Denise and I both use this. This was a toner from that line, Avalon Organics. It was a lavender toner. It, you know, it was all right, but again, I have a homemade recipe for homemade toner. And between it and the Yonka toner, those are really the only two toners that I like. I do use at night, people call it a toner, but it's not a toner. It's a liquid exfoliator, a chemical exfoliator. I use that at night, but other than that, I really like my homemade toner, and I am gonna do a skincare video, I promise, soon. This is always a staple on my makeup table. These are the Quo, uh, they're basically Q-tips, but they're specifically for makeup, and these were the ones that had a rounded tip on one end and a pointed tip on the other, but I've noticed they're doing away with those, and they're gonna be pointed tips on both ends. I'm not sure, I think I use both ends equally, but, We'll see when I use the new ones, what I think of it. Again, this was another toner. The reason I have these toners, even though I don't like them, is I bought a couple of those, you know, packs that have a whole bunch of things in them. They usually come out at the beginning of the school year and then again around the holidays. And they had the toners in them, so I felt the need to use them. This one was the Nivea Aqua Effect Gentle Toner Dry to Sensitive Skin. Again, it was all right, but it smelled very perfumey. I found a lot of the Nivea face products smell a little too perfumey for me. Okay, this is a hand wash from the Body Shop. It was the Almond Conditioning Hand Wash. It's too bad this stuff is kind of expensive because we go through a ton of hand wash, but I really liked it. It was nice and moisturizing. It didn't leave your hands all dried out, so I loved it. This is a staple in my collection. This is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, Vitamin Enriched. Um, it's basically a heat protectant spray. I could not begin to tell you how many of these I have used up. I love them. I don't always love the handle because sometimes it gets twisted around on the bottle and it makes it hard to hold the bottle and both spray at the same time. But the price point for the product and um, the effectiveness of the product cannot beat it. It's under five bucks and it's a heat protectant. You'll see quite a few of these in my empties collections as we go on. This is the Country Chic body lotion from Bath & Body Works. I have a body mist in this scent and so I do tend to pick up the lotions from time to time. It's one of the smells that I really, really like from them. I got a free gift pack from Shoppers Drug Mart a little ways back and in it was a body lotion with this Nicki Minaj Pink Friday scented body lotion. And it's funny because I really love the smell. It's a sweet smell. 
Those are the smells I love. So I thought about getting the perfume, but when I Googled it, it was the most hideous perfume bottle I had ever seen. It's like a, um, there's different versions of it. Like some are like a gold gilded bust of her with a weird wig on and some of them are pink with a gold wig. And anyway, I, I just decided I don't, I, didn't, I don't think I could have that bottle sitting on my perfume collection shelf back there. So I went without it. Beautiful smell though, I must say. Uh, lip protector this time of the year. I'll be flying through tons of these. This is the Burt's Bees lip balm in the pomegranate uh, version. I love Burt's Bees because they don't use petroleum and a lot of chemicals, so you don't have to worry about the fact that you're eating things that are, will be bad for you in the long run. At the very end of the summer, I completely used up a perfume. This is the Fresh Sugar Lychee perfume. I wore this all summer. I, I cannot get over how much I love these little bottles. There's something about the old-fashioned apothecary-ness of this that I really, really love. Um, and I love all the sugar smells. This was the first perfume I tried, the Sugar Lychee. Next summer, I think I'm gonna try the one that is uh, Santal Cannabis, I think it's called. Anyway, it looks great too. I used up a top coat. This is a top coat I really like. It's the Sally Hansen Diamond Flash Fast Dry Top Coat. It dries fast but doesn't tend to chip. I feel that it has a nice thick gel-like finish to it, but doesn't have all the nasty chemicals that the Sesh Viet has. And I have three bottles of Sesh Viet because I got them at Sally's. It was like a, a, if you bought two things of nail polish, you get a free Sesh Viet. So I feel the need to use them, but I do get a little bit freaked out at the warnings on the Sesh Viet bottles, like the kind of chemicals that are in that, because my nails are always painted, so... I think when I use these up, I probably won't buy another Sesh V, but I would definitely buy this again and again. You would have seen this very recently in one of my hauls. This was one of the Philosophy uh, hand creams that I got in a little three pack. This one was Cranberry Medley and I used it already and I loved it. Here's a little hand cream sample. I had had two of these, used one before. It is the J.R. Watkins Apothecary Hand Cream and this is in the smell Lavender. I love this. Um, I have a lot of hand cream to go through, but when I get to the bottom of it, if I'm at Shoppers and I see the full size of this, I will probably pick it up. It's nice and thick for winter. This I'm, I'm at the bottom of, as you can see, but I didn't use it all up, because you can imagine a highlighter. Of course, let me tell you what it is first. It's the Benefit Mary Luminizer, um, which is just that, a, a highlighter, a luminizer for the face. It is a spectacular luminizer. Here's the problem with it. It breaks really super friggin' easy. I have seen so many YouTubers say that they've broken this. Um, I ordered mine through Hope Look and it arrived broken. There was only a small corner of it left, so they actually uh, refunded my money on this and I went and I bought a new one, but I didn't want to just throw it out where there was still a little corner of it, so I used up the corner of it and now uh, it's empty and I, like I said, I bought a new one because it's one of the best face highlighters out there, but do not travel with it. It will break so easy, even if you wrap it in bubble wrap. I'm sad to be saying goodbye to this. You've seen it in a few videos. It's this beautiful Albert Elbaz, the designer from Lanvin who did a collection with Lancome and this is the Hypnos Doll Lashes Mascara. I only keep my mascara for three months after I've cracked it open, so I have to say goodbye to this. However, I still have waiting on deck the other three beautiful patterns from this collection, so I'll look forward to getting into it. And I'm always thrilled when Sephora, in there, you know, the thing where you put the little gift code and you get an extra kind of bonus sample, um, they had this on for a while and I just break my orders up into smaller orders so I can get a free sample with each one. And at the end, you end up with like really one and a half of these, which they're about 30 bucks if you buy the full size. You're only keeping your mascara for three months. This is a perfect three month supply. Little tip for you there. Uh, getting rid of this, I haven't used it up, but it it's from Hard Candy. And it was a beautiful gold glitter liner. And I really love the formula of these, except they very quickly separate, and I don't, I can't zoom, but you can probably see a bit there. It's just separated so that there's pretty glitter on this side and a disgusting oily yellow chemical bath on this side. And I've tried to shake it up and it won't shake up, so bye bye Oh, I've talked about this so much. This is my Viziora Bogart uh, film and television 
translucent powder. Actually, it wasn't translucent. It's a setting powder in the number PC002. My makeup person from the candy show, Anne Marie, gave me this after season one. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Was so sad to be coming to the bottom of it because I had no idea where else I could get it. Then I got cast this year on Call Me Fitz with Jason Priestley and I noticed that the makeup woman who was doing my face had a bunch of these powders. And I was saying to her, oh my goodness, I love that powder. And Marie gave me one, I'm getting close to the bottom of it, I'm so bummed out, I don't know where to get it. She said to me, listen, um, we have switched over to all the high deep, high deep, you know, because we're shooting in high definition. We're using the high definition powders. I scarcely use those, use those anymore, so she gave me the one that matched my skin tone. So I now have another one of these waiting on deck. So happy! Because as I said, I have no idea where to get it. I don't usually put itty bitty baby samples in my empties, but I had to with this one. This is the NARS Pro Priming Pore Refining Primer. Uh, so a very tiny sample of NARS's face primer. The reason I'm including it, I totally love this. I would totally recommend this. I have so many face primers, I can't justify buying a new one, but this was a really, really great product. It really made my makeup last, and it really did a good job at minimizing the look of my pores. Getting rid of this, this is a EOS lip balm in lemon. These are not available in Canada. I ordered these in from the States. As you can see, I've used it right down to nothing. The lemon has an SPF in it, so Denise and I both like using this uh, when we're going to be out in the sun because my lips burn really easy. She didn't think hers did, but she got a really bad lip burn this summer, which is what got her into this. Another sample mascara that I'm letting go. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is a great mascara. I have a bunch of samples of this. I've already opened a new one for my next round of traveling. Um, it's just a really great mascara. It doesn't make you look like you're wearing false lashes, but it really does a nice job at uh, accentuating your real lashes. And I couldn't sharpen it anymore, so I had to say goodbye to it. This is one of the Makeup Forever Aqua Liners. And it's in, I think it's 0L, the number is called. I can't even see it because I've got it done so small. But it's the black. It's their blackest pencil. And it works just like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on my pencils. But Urban Decays, I think, are a little cheaper. Not sure. Anyway, my favorite of all those kinds of pencils are the Kat Von D Port Amour. So I don't know that I would necessarily buy this one again. If I were out, I'd probably buy hers. Another sample I felt the need to include. I got this from Sephora in one of, one of those like gift packs. And it is the uh, L'Occitane um, Supple Skin Oil, which is basically an almond-based oil. It smells beautiful. I love almond-scented anything. Almond scent and honey scent, when it comes to body products, are probably my two favorite scents. And cherry, a little bit. Um, but this is really beautiful oil. I use the Neutrogena Sesame Based Body Oil and I've been using that since I was about 16, so a long, 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 long time, especially. I don't use it in the summer except maybe on my legs to make them shiny. But in the winter I love after a bath to put that on and let it soak in. I would definitely try this when I'm out of my Neutrogena. It was really, really nice. A lip pencil that I've been using. I love this lip pencil and I used it right down to nothing. There's just... I can't... I can't turn it up any higher than it is. I love these because they're cheap as chips. They're the NYX pencils. NYX does such a good job at um, some of these products. It's a waterproof lip liner, retractable, and the color is 06 Nude Pink. And for my lip color, it's the perfect lip liner. I really, really enjoy it. When I'm out of nude lip liners, I'm using one by Jane Iredell right now. When I'm completely out, I would repurchase this. I love this color. And again, it was, I think, two or three dollars. This is a lovely, lovely lip product. The last few videos, you've been complimenting me on my makeup, and this is what I've had on my lips. It is the uh, Buxom lip pencils. What are they called? I'm not even sure what they're called. I'm using a full-size one right now. I have on. Um, but this was one of the testers, and again, I used it right down to the nub. I can't get any more out of it. This particular one was in the color Brooklyn. So if you liked my lips in those last few videos, this is what I was wearing. These Buxom pencils in the color Brooklyn. And I already have this in full size. Just two more things. 
This is a must-have for me in my skincare all the time. I always have one of these on hand. It's Ula Henriksen's uh, Truth Serum, which is an incredible collagen boosting serum. I use this in the mornings. Uh, first thing I put on my face is this and then the rest of my uh, face routine uh, on top of it. It really, the smell of it really helps to kind of wake you up in the morning and it's just uh, incredibly good for the skin. I really notice the difference when I'm using it regularly. And finally the last thing in this two-part empties is a Nivea Q10 daycare uh, anti-wrinkle cream. What I loved about this it's a, it's a glass jar, just like the old school. Remember old cold creams used to come? The ponds and these beautiful glass jars? That landed right in the garbage. And uh, now they're all plastic, which is kind of a bummer. Um, it was all right. Like a lot of their Q10 products, Denise likes the body lotion and the hand cream. Um, and yeah, it was okay. Again, for me, the Nivea face products have too much scent in them. I just find they, and they kind of smell like a bit of an old lady scent. So, um, doesn't turn me on. Anyway, that was it. Big long ass video to say the end of my empties. Now I'll start collecting again. I'm sure I'll have some by the end of December. Thank you so much for watching. Um, congratulations to our winner in Australia who won the big giveaway. Uh, Claire Park, um, Claire Park X, I think she goes by here on YouTube. She got her package already, which I was thrilled. Um, it cost a fortune to send that thing to Australia, but we wanted to ensure it would get there. When we took it to the post office, they said, if we sent it regular, and regular was still crazy expensive, they couldn't guarantee that it would get there in less than a month and a half or two months. But if we paid the extra and sent it special, they guaranteed it in eight days. And in fact, got to her in less time than that. So I'm thrilled to know. Uh, thank you for all your support, all of you, for entering that giveaway. I'm going to do another small giveaway, so look for that in the next uh, few days for the uh, 1500 subscriber mark. It's growing like crazy. I mean, that was the thousand giveaway, and here we are at 15 already. And just to give you a little hint, um, there's a new The Bomb product in that giveaway. So thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, make sure that you are following me on Twitter under The Candy Show and that you like my face page at Facebook. You can see all those clinks at, links at the bottom. Clinks, clinks and links. I'm going to do a clink here soon. I'm going to get myself a martini. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.